everyone, it is uh, Hard Big Gamer here, and today we're going to be looking at um, something that's very highly requested, and uh, what that is, is, let me find it first, how? Everyone's like, how do you do this? What, what are the tricks? You know what I mean? Like, wait, actually, let me go back on the other screen. Everyone's wondering, what the heck did I do to get this to work? Why is this in the way? What the heck even is this? Can I, like, delete this? This is so annoying. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, here we are. So... Wait, can I, I need to check stuff? Okay, everyone's like, what the heck? How does, how do you get this so realistic? How, that looks like legitimate horror skunks. Like, look, look, look at that. Like, how do you make it look that realistic? It just doesn't even make sense. Well, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. And it's actually not as hard as you think it is. This is actually really simple. A lot of people, like, this isn't like, go into blender do this do that that's part of it but i already made the model for you guys so none of you guys have to, do, have to do that blender stuff so first off you download this model right and then you'll get a texture you will get on um, this this whatever what it's called it's called in other in other texture boat to so lightly more whatever what it is but what you do is you go into Mixamo, whatever, right? So you go into Mixamo. After downloading, you go into Mixamo. And then you go over here. I'm going to log in. Make sure nothing pops up that you guys aren't supposed to see. Like passwords, which is okay. It's not. It just logs in. All right. So I have Cartoon Cat in here right now. Why is this taking so long to load? But I have... That is the weirdest cartoon cat I have ever seen, even though I use it. Alright, let us go ahead and uh, get the siren head in here. It's a horror skunk siren head, and uh, yeah, he's siren. He's sirening away. Okay, wait a minute. Look at all these. I need to find the siren head. Realistic cartoon cat siren head retextured. We'll, we'll just do this one. Okay, so th this is loading in, and I'm not going to do the complete thing in Mixamo, but you know wh how to do this, pretty much. You know, you, you upload your character. Uh, I don't know why it's taking so long. But you know this process, I'm pretty sure. So you then you have your siren head in the, in the auto rigger, then you pick out a movement. Let's just pretend I'm doing a zombie idol, even though I'm not. What the heck? It's not even going. Oh, it's loading. Alright, and then you have your animation, then you download it, whatever, right? And then you upload it to Sketchfab. And then when you upload it to Sketchfab, it looks blank. It's a white, everything's white. There's like a weird background like this look it looks like this is what it looks like it looks like this and the siren head won't have any textures it's just white so first of all you go to color and make it a green screen right but how do you get how how do you make it look so realistic okay let me show you how to do that so remember that other uh light texture whatever you put in that texture so how you do that you click on base color and then you click on um add textures i'm pretty sure then you click import and then you go to the your files and whatever and then you put it in there and then you click it all right but besides the point you turn these two all the way down these two whatever and then what we're gonna do it so you're gonna go to roughness slash gloss glossy mist you're gonna click roughness you're gonna put in the other texture bottis lightly and then you're gonna turn it all the way up then you're gonna go to sheen you're gonna put what is this another i'm gonna i'm gonna call this another 
I'm just going to call this texture another. So you're going to put the same and other texture, and then you're going to go in here, right? I'm just pretending. And then you're going to put in 0 0.789 and do it. So you, if you're, if you don't um, have, if you're doing this in mobile, you can like just drag this around. But if you're a computer, I'd much rather you do this. And then you click on tint, and you want to, and then you click on like the blue area, like a light blue, and then you put in the light blue, and then you put in your an other texture again, and put it all the way up. Then you go to subsurface scattering slash skin. You check the mark, and you keep that on zero. You check that, keep that on zero, and uh, click uh, profile color. Then, what you want to do is you want to um, adjust this to 0 0.074. And then you go to clear coat. And you put in the another texture. And then you turn it all the way up. And then for thickness, you put in 1.24. Reflectivity, 0. And for tint, you want to get this like red, pinky kind of color. And then, in roughness... Don't put in any check textures, just put in 0 0.58, and then for normal map, just keep it, just put it at 1, and uh, check mark flip green. Then you want to go to alpha mask, you want to put in your another texture, then put that all the way up to 1, do not check invert uh, texture. So then you go to emissions, you put in your um, another texture, then you put it at 0 0.86. Okay, next page. You go to SSAO on the post-processing filters. Then you go all the way up on the first two. And on BIAS, you put in 0 0.003, which is, like, almost all the way at the end, but not quite. It's, like, just a little blimp. Then you can do green if you want, but I didn't decide to do it. it I mean, let me show you what it looks like with green. Let me go into green and show you what it looks like. Yeah, it looks old timey. Without grain, with grain. Without grain, with grain. You guys can pick. You guys can do whatever you want. But I'm not gonna do grain. So uh, yeah. Then this is a really important part. Very important part. Go to sharpness. Turn it on and put in 0 0.2. Cause this is what, this is what it looks like without sharpness. Watch. Look, look at the siren head. See how it looks like more blurry. Then watch what happens when I turn it on. It looks better. So, that's a really important part of it. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to go... I don't think I did that. To bloom. For threshold, you want 0 0.304. For intensity, you want 0 0.904. And for radius, you want 0 0.277. Alrighty. Next page. <laughs> Guys, this is intense, okay? Or is that it? Yeah, that's it. Ooh. That's without any rendering. That's cool. Okay. But, uh... Ooh, light head. Now we're gonna do light head. So, this is also one that I think you guys really want me to do. I don't know why this is here. Let's turn this off. I don't need it. So, per, that, that's the unknown creature guy. Okay. Lighthead. Yeah. Lighthead. Okay. You guys really were really wondering, look, not to embarrass anyone that comment, but that commented, but um, look at this. Uh -huh. How did you get the texture? Preston Gamer plays Roblox. See, this guy has been asking me a ton to do this, but um, wow. Okay. Yep, download Lighthead model, and I'll send you a tutorial. Okay, so we're doing the tutorial right now. So, uh, yeah. So, so you download this model, right? You download this model. Now, if you want to do this Lighthead, you need, I think you need a computer for this one. Let me check it. Do I even have it on the computer? I should. I don't know. Uh, oh, I do. That's right. Okay, so let me show you guys this. When you go to Mixamo, 
I'm pretty sure you need a computer for this part, which is why I'm on the computer. But uh, let's go ahead and put in the light head, if I have it on this one. I should have it on the computer. Sometimes I use my iPad, but uh... Dark Siren Head... Wow, wow. Yep, right there. There it is. Okay. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you need a computer for this, uh, for this, for this light head. Okay, just wanted to point that out there. Let's see. Yep, you need a computer. So that's straightened out already. I don't know why I did that. But uh, then you have to do all these, which the chin. I would just put the chin there. Wrists. Right. Elbows. Knees. You can't do the light head unless if you have a unless if you have a um a computer. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. <laughs> but um, that's just like you use your mouse to put on the um, checkpoints or whatever you want to call them. So once you have in your light head, I'll show you this when it loads in. But once you have your light head. Um, you can basically do the same steps. Like, look, here it is. So, there, we have our light head. This is the Horror Skunks light head. This is, like, not many people have this model. Which is one of the reasons why I put it in my sketch fab so people could use it. But, um, let's do taunt, I guess. I don't know. So, you have your animation. You download it, right? You download it. You upload it to Sketchfab. You upload it to Sketchfab, right? Ah. Uh -huh. Then, like I told you before, it's gonna look blank. Like, it's gonna look like this, probably. I don't know why there's grain. But without all the grain and stuff, and the light head won't have any textures onto it, I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first, you're going to make it a green screen. And then, after you do that, what you got to do is... Oh, gosh. Uh, so, you go in here, and you have all of these. So, you click Default 2. And this, the model will come with textures, right? Deep, when you go on default 2, you import all, there's like three or four textures. You import all four textures. And for, what was it? What was it again? For default 002, it's, um, the, the texture for that is Oh Me So Evil. Then for glass, what is glass? Uh, so for glass is just pure white background. For metal is oh me so evil and for the plastic mat is D B Q Q E nine I so I just want to let you know on that but if when all of that happens look I'm gonna turn these off oh gosh Look, it, it looks like this. It looks all plain and bad. And this is what this is not what you want. You want it to look realistic. Like this is what it what the realistic one looks like. Let me put it in. Bam. 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 Yeah, look, look at this. Look at how much more realistic this is. Let me show you how you do this. So you go to here. And there's not much you do here, really. Besides, yeah, you don't really do anything on this page. Oh, okay. So, look. For default 002. Whew, this is long. Okay. You uh, go to roughness slash glossiness. You click roughness. Put in Omi So Evil all the way up. For sheen, you put in Omi So Evil all the way up to 1. For tint, you want a blue or, like, a light blue. Then for, for roughness, you put in Omi So Evil and put it all the way up. Then you have admissions, which is nothing, really. All right, class. Emissions, you just put it up to one. Metal. 
missions, you put it up to one. Plastic mat. Emissions, you put it up to one. I'm black. Okay. So, now what you do is you go to post-processing. You go to SSIO, put everything all the way up, and then you put bias to 0 0.005. Well, no, you just put it all the way down. Bias goes all the way down to zero. Well, that is zero. It just You put it all the way down until it's not even filled up. That intensity and radius is all the way up. Grain is all the way up, and it's animated. Sharpness is a 0 0.2. Bloom, um, the threshold is 0 0.394. Intensity, 0 0.553. And the radius is 0 0.472. The color balance is just same old. That's really it, guys. Really. That's all you have to do. But, um, yeah. Anyways, let's go to my YouTube channel. And I'd just like to say... Oh, okay. I'd like to say thank you guys so much for 864 subscribers. Oh, gosh. 864 subscribers. And let me show you something. Show, show, blade. Look at this. Look, look, look. I want to show you guys something here. Not this page. It's something else. Oh, it's on here. All right. I am going to hit a thousand subscribers soon. As you guys see right here. I'm going to hit a thousand soon. And I, what should I do when I hit a thousand subscribers? I want you guys to be honest with me. And it looks like in five years, I'll have 41,578. So, um, just thank you for all the support. Make sure to like and subscribe. Do all the things. And uh, I hope you guys like the tutorial. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.